I like it out here, don't you? Yeah, because I have nothing else to do, really. You know, you could turn up this dirt in half the time with some new equipment. A jump is all. Still, spring comes just once a year, and nature ain't waiting for you or that antique. I think it's a battery. It's at least a new battery. It works. She went dead on me about an hour ago, and I still have this old field to cultivate yet. Yeah, you should consider getting an ox to pull that old thing. Third generation to drive her. Yeah, I'm pretty damn sure your grandfather will be driving a shiny new tractor that works. Like when he bought this one 60 years ago? Turn her over. Baby solid. Gotta keep some tradition in this world. Wanna try it again? Watch the gas. Don't flood her. She'll start. Man, Danny, stop. You're gonna burn her out. You know, just try charging her up. We'll get a new battery tomorrow. Leave it here. All right. I guess the work can wait. You're a good man, Dean. Why don't you come over for a cup of coffee? That'd be nice. Give me a ride back to the house? Maybe. Yeah? Sugar? Uh, black is fine. Hey, Danny, what is this? What? This, this here. Is this your cell phone? Dean, that was my father's old cell phone. I don't have a new one because I'm never off this place. I don't see a use. Besides, that one works just fine. Well, I, I'm I'm glad you're you're keeping up some. They were good people, your family. That was a good thing they left you this place. You know, I figure I'll keep it going, keep up the tradition. That's what you want. Thanks for lending me your old computer. It's been great for keeping up the records and things. I, I'm getting pretty handy with it. You know, I met this girl. You mentioned when? Here. Here? No, here. Oh, there. I, I have seen a few girls on one of those site things. Every once in a while, past the time, since Nancy died. Hmm. I should be Miss Nancy. It's not exactly what I was talking about. I, I keep in touch with friends and stuff on there. It's like my social outlet. I chat with her every night. I, I think I love her. Look, Danny, I know it gets lonely here, but love, how does that happen? Without touching and Smelling and feeling. That's tradition, not some old tractor. You're the one who's into all this new stuff, not me. I'm just saying it could happen. It did happen. She is beautiful. She's got long, dark hair, big brown eyes. I've never seen anything like her. Go on. I met her on this Facebook site. A friend of a friend, he's got like 5,000 friends, and I saw a picture of her a month ago, and I 5,000 friends. Yeah, I have like 20, but most people have more. How does someone know 5,000 people, let alone be friends with them? I've been all over the world. I lived in New York City. I was in the Navy. I was married. I don't have 5,000 friends. You don't, you, don't, you don't really know all of them. Well, wouldn't that be called acquaintances? 
Danny. Why would you share personal things with acquaintances? It takes a long time and a lot of trust to build a friendship. Like us. And that's not something to be taken lightly. Look, Danny, I, I, am, I am all for new things and things. But friends are friends. And love, that's love. But acquaintances? Hell, that's, hello. How you doing? Mind your own damn business. You be careful on that thing, Danny. It's okay, modern man. Yeah, I'm surprised you're not on it. Most of my friends are gone. For good. A man simply doesn't make any friends past 50. Fact. Where does this girl live? Why don't you go and meet her? Then decide if you're in love. You can take the tractor if you can get it started. Renee lives in New Jersey, 500 miles from here. You see my problem? Big deal. You get out of this place and go meet her for heaven damn sakes. Meet her in New York City. It's romantic there and it's not far for her. Dean, you gotta stop smoking the fertilizer, man. New York City? There's like a billion people there. What am I gonna do? Danny, you act older than I am. Now, oh, there is a nice little coffee place. A cafe down in the West Village. Right on the corner, Greenwich. Greenwich and 11th. Meet her there. West Village? Mm-hmm. What's the name of this cafe? Not that I'm gonna go, but. I don't remember the name. I just know it's, I'm sure it's still there. Look, take the regional. Get off at Penn Station. Go downtown. You'll find it. No, I can't. I can't. No. Well, I guess you just don't like her that much. Danny, I gotta go. I take it to the parts store in the morning, if you like. Get that battery. You know, you will never know if it's real unless you make it real, and you can't do it on there. And you could, but it would be weird. Like you are, on that tractor all day long. You're thick in the head, Danny. You are thick in the head. Morning. Morning. So you wanna go get that battery? Nope, she'll be all right out there another day. But you can't give me a ride. Where to? Train station. You're heading to New York. <laughs>
Techno Cafe. Dean. 304. Man. Excuse me, was there a cafe on this corner? Cafe? Oh, there's a cafe on Greenwich Avenue, this is Greenwich Street. There's a Greenwich Avenue and a Greenwich Street. Sweet. Greenwich Street, seven, seven blocks from here, that way. This direction here, that Greenwich way. Avenue. Yes. Thank you. Hi, Karen. Actually, yes, a uh, girl. Uh, dark hair, big brown eyes. I was supposed to meet her here at 3. You do know you're in New York City. There have been 100 girls like that here today. Matter of fact, I've got dark hair, brown eyes. Got any uh, other details I can work with? Um, I don't know. Uh... Let me guess. This was an internet dating encounter? No. Yes. Facebook encounter, a friend of a friend. I, I don't know anything anymore. There was a girl like that here around three o'clock. Um, there was? She left in a bit of a huff about 15 or so minutes ago. She was here with another girl and they did not look happy. Not very nice if you ask me. Another girl? That's gotta be somebody different. The girl I was meeting uh, Renee. She knew. Renee, yes. Okay. Take it easy. Did she say anything else, like where she was going? I just overheard the conversation. Uh, she tried calling someone named Danny. But that you? Yes, yes, yes. Anything else? Nice meeting you, Danny. A anyway, she was pissed off at you because you weren't here on time and she couldn't get you on the phone. And she said to her friend that you were nice, but strange. Oh. And she wasn't going to waste another minute, so she used the word. Lake. <laughs> and that's it. Uh, you are right. Strange is okay. Can I get you a drink? I would love a drink. A coffee, please. I would love a coffee. All right. Coming right up. Thank you, Karen. Karen. Thank you, Karen. Dean! I gotta tell you something. You so, know hey, you hey, have hey, no hey, 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 hang on. <laughs> How about that? Earn like a kitten. Sounds good as new. You went through a new battery and you didn't have to do that. Nah, I just cleaned the old one up and put it on a charge all day. Can you shut her down? I can barely hear you. Thank you. You didn't have to do that. So where you been? Did you make it? As a matter of fact, I did. <laughs> now, what did I tell you? What are old friends for? 40 years since I have been there, and I remember that cafe like it was yesterday. You do, do you? Yeah, right there on Greenwich Avenue. You knew that, Greenwich Avenue. Of course, that's where I sent you. Yeah, not exactly. I met my Nancy only a week before I was shipped off to Vietnam back in 64. We spent every minute together that week. But we made a promise to each other that if I got back, 
we would meet at that cafe on Greenwich Avenue. Now, two years had gone by, and I figured, Nancy went off with somebody else. But I wrote her Western Union, telling her I would be back in port in New York in a few days. I told her the day and time to meet. Then the day arrived, and getting off that ship was harder than I anticipated. I mean, we didn't have cell phones. You just couldn't just call somebody up in those days. So I arrived at the cafe almost two hours past the time that I had said. Now, I walked in there. <laughs> there she was. She was sitting all by herself, looking just as beautiful as the last time I saw her. I knew she was the one. She waited two years and two hours. My Nancy did. Now, for no other reason, I married her just for that. How come you never told me this story? I have no reason to. Well, let's just say she didn't wait two years. Well, I'm sorry that happened. I, I want you to go to that cafe because I thought you would have the same good luck that I had. You're right. This tractor, the land, the tradition. There are things that are more important. You can't marry dirt. No, you can't. It's good to be off this place. I like New York City. I would never want to live there, but... Who's that? Is that the computer girl? No, that's Karen, the waitress from the cafe. You son of a gun. <laughs> I guess I do better in person. I guess so. <laughs> Ooh, it's cute, too. Uh, I'll tell you all about it later. Can you start her up, please? Definitely. I need to get one of those uh, cell phones with a map on it. Can't rely on a neighbor for directions. What we all need is a truckload of faith. I got that. <laughs> looks, looks like you got her. She's, she's beautiful. She's gorgeous. I know, not I can't believe, your first time out, you got a woman this beautiful. New York City, man.